Hello, in this video, we will look on how to report measurement model results. Now here is a model um, that we have built and uh, we've got three mediators, one independent, one dependent, and another variable that is influencing uh, the mediators and the dependent variable. Now, how do you report measurement model results? We've already ran our model and we've got good results. I said this is the constructed liability and validity. So the first step is, let's copy these results, or rather let's first get the loadings. So let's copy this, this loadings table into an Excel format. Put this table into our Excel sheet. So if you see uh, this one here is coming in the end, but it's par, it's, let's cut this and put it it's in place. Now, everything seems in order. The first thing is that we report the loadings. Let's cut all loadings in one column. that we have put all the loadings in a single column, the next step is that we report a cron badge alpha. With it, we report our composite reliability. And then values. But this was copied, so we'll remove this. We don't know need these two columns now so we'll remove these two columns now we will get our smart pls results similarly just press this excel format button so the results are copied and then just paste them here we do not need to report this row, so we remove it. Sorry, they've been deleted. Variable ch and we paste it here. Second, we paste it. RC, so we copy and yeah, SL, paste it here. Similarly, this is TC, cut it and paste it here. Last one being TP, then we put it. Now that you've got your results for construct reliability and convergent validity. Now, if we uh, have a look uh, about the arrangement, we can obviously uh, rearrange them by just cutting these rows and putting them in, in their place. Now, what are the steps in reporting a measurement model results? So we can just order them a bit, put them in a particular format. Just copy them from here, in, from your Excel sheet, and put them in your Word document. If you see, let's just paste them here for now and discuss how you report your results. The first step is you have to identify if you removed any items due to low factor loadings. My uh, least factor loading that uh, is 0 0.60, you can obviously go for 0.60. 70 or there are inst there are instances when you when one has deleted items with lower loadings or loadings less than 0 0.50 as well now as part of measure of our measurement model evaluation how many items did we remove so let's go to our smart pls results if you look 
there is one two three these are plain white and that this means that they are not part of the model so three items four items five items and a total of six items were removed so what you can do is just keep an eye on which items were removed so tc2 tc4 rc1 so let's put that six items were removed so a total of six items you know which items were removed you can mention them here now when you mention all these items in your appendix as to which attributed to which item people will know or the readers will know which item was actually deleted so in this case if we see rc1 was deleted sl3 and 4 so let's put them in c1 sl3 sl4 tc2 and 4 So these were the items that were removed because they had loadings less than 0.60. Now we are done with your step one. Now the next step is to test the reliability of the construct. In this study, we have used cron batches alpha and composite reliability. Now all the CR values were higher than the recommended 0 0.70 range. And same is for cron batch alpha so we do not need to make any editing here we can just use this text and merge it with the previous text now let's go for our convergent validity the next step is to assess or establish whether convergent validity was established or not convergent validity was acceptable because the average variance extracted was over 0 0.50 the results of for reliability and validity along with the factor loadings for the items are presented in table one so if we see whether our ave values yes or all the ave values are greater than 0 0.50 so let's label this table now because this is finalized table one loadings reliability and validity So your table one is done. Let's arrange it. So it's finalized. Right click, auto fit, auto fit to window, and then you can give it an APA style or whatever style you want. In this case, we are going for APA style. So let's uh, synchronize the font as well with the text. And, uh, with 10. So now you have finally reported your reliability score. And one thing, if you are using three decimal points, it should be same for all the values. So just add a zero at the end. So, um, yes, all of them are done. Now the next step, obviously, this is done, so we can merge it with the paragraph. Now the next step is assessing discriminant validity. Obviously, uh, in uh, research or statistical technique, a Fornum and Locker criterion was used. But these days, there is another method, heterotrade, monotrade ratio of correlations. So we can use that as well. In this study, uh, what uh, I'm doing is I'm using both. So how do you get these results? So let's say we go to our smart PLS results. So here is, uh, there is a separate section on discriminant validity. If you see, this is for the locker criterion. These are cross loadings, and this is heterotrade monotrade ratio. So let's first check our cross loadings. The first value is obviously square root of AVE for that particular construct. In this case, it is CH. So it is the square root of AVE for CH. And it must be higher than all the values underneath, which are the correlations of a particular construct with CH. In this case, yes, yes, yes. And all this seems good. So all this is fine. So let's copy it into 
Excel, and then from Excel we can export it to our Word file. So just, just copy it from here. If you directly copy it, it copy it. It's um, pasted as, as as in the form of text rather than in a table. So just click on it, right click, auto fit, and auto fit to. Sorry, 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 sorry. So once you have copied it, just go to your Excel sheet. And you. Sorry. You just paste it here. Sorry, let's do that again. Let's uh, copy that result again from Smart PLS. Let's press Excel format, and then you open your Excel sheet. paste it here so once it's pasted you can you should copy it again otherwise if you paste it directly into your word file it will not appear as text so let's paste it into our word file here it is now click on this right click auto fit to window so Let's give this border so that we see what it is. Uh, let's give it all borders. Change the columns. Now, oh, it's better to uh, put the top value in italics so and they are easy to understand. The reader knows that these are square root of AVE. One should also mention underneath the table. Note. Values in present square root oh, this is one criteria uh, to perform for uh, sorry discriminant validity now so so one criteria is done so let's merge this text previous text so we know that we have done this. Now we are left with the other criterion, heterotrade monotrade ratio. Now in order to establish heterotrade monotrade ratio, we again go back to our smart PLS results. If you see here is HTMT. Now this is all green. So this should be less than, uh, preferably it should be less than 0.85, but even 0 0.90 is uh, enough. Again, we we'll copy it in Excel format. Open our Excel sheet. We paste it here. So once it's here, what we can do is we just copy it. And we go to our Word file and paste it here. Merge both the tables, uh, the foreign locker criterion table and your uh, HTMT ratio table as well. Now, if you see, this is blank because these are correlations. So you cannot correlate CH with CH or TP with TP. So that's why these values are, or uh, these columns are blank. Sorry, rather, these cells are blank. Okay, now you can centralize. Let's say we, we, we do not merge uh, for the sake of saving time. You can make it your third table, table three, HDMT ratio. Table two is your This is how you establish and report your discriminant validity results. Just Make a slight change in the text, and we can make it C table three. Thank you very much.